If you encounter issues while using VVDI Door Key 2 Plus in service mode AKL, there's no need to worry. In this video, we'll guide you through the operating methods and essential precautions to help you navigate the process smoothly. The following login modules are supported for service mode AKL. Without the car key, these login modules cannot obtain emo data from the dashboard. The specific operating methods are as follows. 1. Backup ABS coding. 2. Remove the chip from the dashboard. Read the EPROM data with a BDM programmer and save the dump file. 3. Generate service EPROM. 4. Write service EPRM dump to the dashboard's EPROM chip. 5. Restore the dashboard to the car and select the correct login module. 6. Load original EPROM dump. Activate the car's OBD. Write it back to the car via OBD. 7. Read emo data. Save. Generate a dealer key. At the dealer key, reset the dashboard for smart keys. Learning is required. 8. Step 1 reminds you that ABS backup is necessary. If coding is lost, enter more functions to restore ABS. Now, let's learn about the important notes. Note 1. During steps 1 to 4, ensure you select the correct module and proceed with reading as normal. Typically, this should not present any issues, but make sure to save the original data first. Never write service mode data without first backing up the original data. To differentiate between files, it's advisable to use distinct file names for the service mode file and the original data. After writing the service mode data, compare it with the generated service mode file to ensure it can be written correctly. In step 5, confirm that you select the correct login module. It's recommended to take a photo of the automatic diagnostic type when initially connecting the devices for automatic diagnosis. For example, if the device automatically identifies as 2 for C6 for 2013. But in step 5, you select the TFT color display minus 2012. You will encounter a failure prompt in step 6. In this case, we diagnose the dashboard to determine the correct type. Select the corresponding type, enter more function, and write EPROM to resolve the issue. Note 2. After writing the original EPROM data, the device will prompt you to restore the dashboard as it typically requires a reset after writing the originally. However, since this is for service mode AKL, the dashboard can only be restored after reading the emo data. Therefore, do not tap on reset at this point, or it will indicate that the card key is not detected during emo data reading. This is a common issue, so you must be cautious. The restoration can only be done after reading the emo data. If this step is accidentally performed incorrectly, the solution is to repeat the process, generate the service mode file, write it again, and then perform the OBD write back to the EPROM operation. Note 3. When writing original EPROM data, follow the prompts for mechanical keys. Insert the key to turn on the dashboard and write the original EPROM data via OBD. For smart keys, generally short circuit OBD pin 1 and pin 16. Then turn on the dashboard and write the original EPROM data via OBD. Additionally, the Audi Q3 has specific requirements. In this case, you need to short circuit the ELV. Then turn on the dashboard and write the original EPROM data via OBD. Otherwise, an error message stating car key required will be displayed, preventing writing via OBD. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights and guidance. Happy coding and see you next time.